you love the Lord too? Yes, yes, sir. Amen. Amen. Come on, a sweet sound. Amen. That reaches to heaven is a heart of thanksgiving, yes. a heart of praise. Yes. Amen. You know, it's sometimes it's not the talent, but it's the genuineness that's of it, the real, realness of it. It's what God is looking for. Hallelujah. Amen. Y'all some songs so beautiful. I believe we should have them today. We shall Amen. I love you, Lord. I love you. Amen. I thank you, baby. Sister Silvano want to grab a mic this morning. She almost starts singing, I believe. That, that melody that went up. <laughs> Amen. Somebody tell God thank you. Somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody say glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Somebody say, I love you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. This is the day that the Lord has made. Yes, yes. I will rejoice and be glad in it. today. Amen. 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 For your hearing this morning, uh, we look at the book of Luke chapter 1 and Hebrews chapter number 10. I like, as you turn there, Luke 1 and Hebrews chapter number 10. I would like to say happy Mother's Day. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. To all our mothers out there. And on the sound of our voices, and um, and I, I sent out a text this morning to to um, to the church, and I said Happy Mother's Day, and those who are non-biological mothers, Happy Mother's Day to you, because Amen. You, you, if you have been a listening ear to some child or been there for some child, Amen. I like to say Happy Mother's Day to you too. Yes, yes, yes. Amen. Yes, yes. Amen. You can't tell Layla that uh, she don't have two mothers. <laughs> My Lord, yes, God. Yes, God. You can tell baby Layla that uh, uh, Tina was my mother. Uh -huh. Amen. Amen. Thank God for the ones who uh, are non biological but been there. Yes. Amen. As a mother. Yes. You can't tell some of the, 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 the uh, uh, sisters that. Uh, had things going on in their life and they didn't have nowhere to turn and uh, and they went to Kosu and yeah, Kosu yeah. and that wasn't a mother to them. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I believe it's like this. I believe there are some biological mothers who are not mothers. Yeah. Amen. Not there. And I believe there are some non-biological mothers who are real mothers. <laughs> Let the children defend for themselves and doesn't have the patience and don't have the understanding it to be there for them. But I believe there's some that a man would be uh, a mother in spite of. But like our minister Randrell said, to those who have lost mother, amen, dad is no mother like Jesus Christ. He said he's a mother to the motherless. Amen. Amen. He's a mother to the motherless. Who is it that can be everything to us? A mother and a father. And I won't take it back. Hallelujah. Who is it that can be everything we need? Hallelujah. A provider, a waymaker, a friend. Hallelujah. A mother, a father, a sister, a brother. Hallelujah. Somebody say he's my everything. Excited always, but he seemed a little extra excited today. He's got me and some wife from my side. Thank God for the sister for me 
Alicia. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. Amen. God bless you. It takes a mother and a wife, amen, to be with the man and be patient with him. He said he woke up sober this morning, but he said there are times he wasn't sober. The only eyes and wife was right there by his side. Hallelujah. So I thank God mothers. I thank God for wives. Amen. My dear lovely sweet wife, Sister Carla White. Hallelujah. Praise God for you. Amen. My sweet wife, mother to my children. Amen. Kay and Jerron and David and, and a grandmother to the grands. Amen. Um, Lawrence Jr. and Carly and Tyler and DJ and <laughs> Tristan and Jay Bird and Kiara. Yeah. I got so many I had to write them down. Hallelujah. I got so many I had to write them down. Amen. 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 They don't want to leave nobody out. Amen. 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 God is great. Yeah. And it's great that it took me to pray. Think you don't know what we do. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Well, I was a little loose this morning, maybe because it's Mother's Day. I don't know. Uh, Luke chapter number one and Hebrews chapter number ten. Uh, Luke the first chapter, and uh, and uh, uh, Hebrews chapter number ten. Uh, Luke, the first chapter, and verse number 28 through 38, it says, And the angel came in and, and said, Hail, thou highly favored, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. And when she saw him, she was troubled at his saying, and Cast in her mind what manner of salutation is this to be. And the angel said to her, Fear not, Mary, for thou hast found favor with God, and behold, thou shalt conceive in thy womb, and bring forth a son, and shall call his name Jesus. He shall be great, and he shall be called the Son of the Highest, and the Lord God shall give unto him the throne of his father David, and he shall reign over the house of Jacob forever, and his kingdom there shall be no end. And then said Mary unto the angel, How shall this be, seeing I know not a man? And the angel answered and said to her, The Holy Ghost shall come upon thee, and the power of the high shall overshadow thee. Therefore also the holy thing which shall be born of thee shall be called the Son of God. And behold thy cousin Elizabeth, she has also conceived a son in her old age, and this is the sixth month with her who was called barren. For with God, nothing shall be impossible. And Mary said, Behold, the handmaid of the Lord, be it unto me according to thy word. And the angel departed from her. In Hebrews, the 10th chapter, uh, uh, Three verses there. Uh, Hebrews chapter number 10, and uh, look at verse uh, number 4, 5, and 7, and verse number 10. The Bible says, For it is not possible that the blood of bulls and goats should take away sins. Wherefore, when he cometh into the world, he says, Sacrifice and offering thy wood is not but a body. Thou hast prepared me, and burnt offering and sacrifice to sin, thou hast no pleasure. A body thou hast prepared me. The tenth verse says, By the which we are sanctified through the offering of the body of Jesus Christ once for all. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. I read you uh, the book of Luke, uh, where that uh, Mary, the mother, was used by Jesus, used by the Lord. I read you in Hebrews, but God needed a body 
to offer for the sins of mankind. And we see where Jesus said, I will. I would like to use for a subject today is use me, Lord. Use me, Lord. Mary was used a willingly vessel. And Jesus said, if you need a body, my will, not my will, but thy will be done. How about you? Are you a volunteer in the service of the Lord? And you saying a statement like that is basically saying, I volunteer to be used of God. To have a statement like that as a volunteering statement, it's like in a classroom saying, I raising my hand and say, I'll go, I'll go, I do it, teacher, I do it. That's what volunteering is about. It's like enlisting, enlisting in the United States Army or the Navy, the National Guard, saying, you don't have to draft me, I'll serve my country. I'll protect the Constitution of the United States of America. The volunteers like working at the Salvation Army without pay, nonprofit organizations, volunteer, amen, that's what it's all about, amen, it's volunteering, it's, uh, it's saying I'll do it, uh, amen, uh, you need somebody to work overtime, I'll do it, amen, I'll do it, amen, it's, 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 uh, it's, uh, Saying uh, without even being asked, Amen. I'll do it. If you need somebody uh, to sing, I'll sing. If you need somebody uh, to be of the service of the God uh, for the Lord, I'll do it. If you need me to get that for you, I'll get it. I volunteer. Uh, I'll do this for you. Anybody ever volunteer for anything? <laughs> Uh, you just saw a need and you just voluntarily took up the need, say, I'll do it. That's what use me, Lord, mentality is all about. Somebody tell God, thank you. Thank you amen, amen. When God needed to come to the earth and to relate with mankind, uh, even though he's in heaven and earth, but he needed to feel pain. He needed to feel suffering. He didn't know what it feel like to lose somebody you love. He needed to know what it feel like to be hungry, thirsty, and tired, and weary. He needed to know how it feel like to be mistreated and talked about and ostracized uh, and criticized and put down. He needed to know what his Humanity feel like he needed a body. Somebody say he needed a body. Uh, he needed somebody. He needed some B-O-D-Y. He needed somebody. And uh, Mary was the willing vessel. When the Lord needed to, to take away the sins of the world, when it was not possible that the blood of bulls and goats should take away the sins of the world, it took Amen. It took a life. It took a life. It took a precious lamb. Jesus said, Lo, I come in the volume of the book to do thy will, O oh God. Yeah. Somebody tell God, yes. Yeah. Somebody need to say, I will. I will. Somebody need to tell God, yes. Somebody need to tell God, yes. Somebody need to say, The Lord needs somebody here am I Send me. I will go. I'm reminded of the prophet Isaiah, amen, when he had the sixth chapter of the book of Isaiah, after having an encounter with God, and after hearing the dire need of God, request said, uh, uh, who will go for me? Who will I uh, sin? Who will go for me? Amen. Elijah, I mean, uh, it was uh, Isaiah said, Lord, uh, here am I. Send me. I will go. To Somebody shout yes. Somebody tell God thank you. Ah, uh, yeah, we hear the statements time and time, and I think I made it. Uh, this statement myself, God don't need you, we need the Lord. Yeah. You ever heard that statement? Uh, God don't need you, we need the Lord. Uh, I know, I know, I know what you were saying, I know what you mean, I know what I meant. You mean that God always going to have somebody 
to fulfill his purpose, whether it's me or whether it's you, God has never left himself without a witness. But when I when I rethink those things, I begin to say that God really needs you. He really needs me. God is a spirit and he needs some hands to feed somebody. He needs a mouth to say God is a good God. Yes, he is. He needs a mouth to say you need to come to Jesus just as you are. Come unto him and he will give you rest. God needs some feet to go help somebody to go, amen, give somebody some food or whatever needs to be done. God have no hands but your hands. God have no mouth but your mouth. God has no feet but your feet. Somebody say, use me, Lord. Ah, God, dear. Amen. It was Jesus at one time and he was getting ready to go to uh, he getting ready to go to Jerusalem. He was getting ready to go to Jerusalem just a few days before he was going to the cross. Amen. He was going there. He sent a couple of disciples ahead of him and told them to go into a certain village. When you go there, you're going to see a little uh, coat. Uh, it will be tied up at a person's house. And I want you to go take that coat and I want you to take that uh, donkey loose. Amen. I loose him. If anybody come and ask you, where you going with my donkey, you tell him the Lord have need of him. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. If a devil or a donkey, the donkey can be used by God, certainly God, you can use me. Somebody shout yes. Somebody tell God thank you. Somebody shout hallelujah. And the Lord needed Mary. He needed a body. The God of heaven and earth. The king of kings. The Lord of lords. Ah, the great I am. Amen. Needed a body to come down here in the earth. Amen. The great God that made the beautiful heavens and the beautiful earth and all the wonderful species of the fish and all the wonderful animals in the afar. Amen. Amen. All, all the wonderful great mountains and hills. He needed a lamb. He needed a body. He needed a, a way to come here in the earth. Amen. He needed a body and soul. And the Bible records by Dr. Luke. And he said, I, I'm going to tell you how he did that. Uh, he had to look down and he had to find a vessel. Amen. Amen. This vessel don't really uh, have to be over-educated because Mary came from us. Uh, she came from a poor family, if you will. Uh, you know how they're walking. He didn't say poor. He said, I come from a poor family. Uh, amen. She comes from a town that was not popular in uh, uh, Nazareth. It don't have to be the finest of finest. It don't have to be the brightest of the bright. Uh, hallelujah. It don't have to be the riches of the rich. Uh, but it got to have be somebody who is willing to be used by our God. Somebody tell God things. And I look down here and even you know God knows our heart. He knows our minds and he knows our thoughts from afar off. And I, I believe he knew Mary what her response was going to be. Amen. So he sent the uh, 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 angel cable to Thank you, Jesus. Down to Mary's house. By the time Elizabeth was with child, about six months. Thank you, Jesus. Hail Mary. Somebody say, Hail Mary. Oh, have mercy. I believe we need to be careful when we say no to God because it could be our angel saying, Because I'm going to give you the fable. All I want you to do is be with me. 
Jesus, amen, was used as a lamb that was slain for our sins today. He was slain. He was the body. But the blood of bulls and goats could not take away our sins. He needed a body, a precious lamb. Jesus was that lamb. You know, when Jesus was here, Amen. Amen. You say this. It ain't me. I'm just being used. He said, the work I do is not my work. The things I say, I don't say my own. I'm being used. When you see me, you see my father. Because I'm being used by the father. Hallelujah. I'm being used. Hallelujah. And he went all the way to Calvary being used. And then when it came up against him, say, Lord, you've been really, you got so much coming up against you. You got all that sin going to be on your back. He said, God, take it out of the way. But he said, look, it ain't my will, but your will. It got to be done. It got to be done. It got to be done. I don't want nobody else to do it. Somebody made a statement one time and said, I don't want the rocks to take my place because they had a reference to a scripture where, 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 where they told it, uh, the, the, the praises to be quiet. And, uh, and Jesus said, uh, if these should hold their peace, the rocks would cry out to us. So, and somebody made a statement and said, you don't have to hit a rock and replace me. Oh! Thank you, sir. 